Well, I think every team needs to get a result uh, after tonight's game. We, obviously, we all started playing our minds for the game. At the end of the day, we could need a draw against Nigeria, depending on the situation, you know. So, um, but we'll go out there, we'll prepare ourselves. The players will um, will go back now and go to the swimming pool and have a bit of a, a flush and uh, treatment and so on and so forth. And we'll start our preparations on Sunday. Very, very tough game out there against a very, very good team. They defended in numbers all the time and they tried to catch us on the break. This is a very tough group. It hasn't been an easy group. You know, I think also you'll see out, now, out there now when, uh, when Burkina Faso are playing. It's not going to be one-way traffic. It's going to be a tough game out there for both, both our sides. I think the result puts pressure on everybody in the group, you know, because it's very close and it's, it's a tough group, you know. I think people underestimated the quality in this in this competition. The teams uh, they've picked, been able to pick their best players from the domestic leagues, and um, it's it's a tough tournament. I mean, Mali is a is a very very good team. You saw that for yourself. I mean, no one's trying to kid anybody. Here. You saw them against Nigeria. You saw them against us tonight. They're a, they're a good side. They've got a lot of uh, you know they call us a few poles with their aerial heart. You know, they win, they win a lot of uh, balls in the air. Let's see who goes through in this group. You know, the two teams go through. We're going to have to uh, get a result against Nigeria. I was disappointed, first of all, because the, the referee or the fourth official took so long to make the change. We were ready for a long time and he kept on t telling us something, the wrong number and whatever the case may be, and delayed and delayed the substitution. But what I wanted to do was put Medi a bit more forward, just a little bit behind the striker to be more creative. And then number eight was causing us a lot of problems in the middle of the park. You know, he was cheating and getting into good areas and uh, I needed someone to, to pick him up. And um, Sevilla did that quite well. And from that moment on, the number eight stopped playing. And I think we took a little bit more control of the game and we started getting forward, especially the last 20 minutes. And we created, you know, you could see at the end, towards the end, uh, the goalkeeper was slowing things down and they were prepared to, to draw the game and they, they slowed things completely down. But it was more and more to make sure the number eight stopped playing and I wanted uh, Paddy to get more into forward positions because you saw what he did with his distribution up front then and getting players playing. Je suis très content, très content en ce sens que mes enfants ont accepté de jouer. In the context, I'm very happy. Uh, we, uh, the players played, uh, and they played well, and they played for Africa. Con concerning the penalty, well, you know, I don't think it's, it's an honourable um, solution. But as you, as you know, there are three parameters uh, uh, in, in the football. You have victory, machinery, and defeat. Bon, mais effectivement, c'est un tournoi d'un bon niveau. Parce que c'est une vitrine du football continental. Yes, indeed, it's been a very high-level tournament, and uh, it's a show window for Africa. And I'd like to thank the CAF for allowing the talents of this continent and the players of this continent to, to be able to uh, to play in front of so many people. Concerning the level of football, it's a high level. Uh, the quality is of a high level. Um, the, the players, the footballers, have played fully, and as you know, football is also a show. And uh, for this match, it hasn't been zero, zero to zero, it was one to one.